Uh, we are back and we want to do a, a function test on um, we, we want to use the these uh, calculated uh, PID values we want to use them for uh, simulating the process response in Centum VP in the uh, simulating environment in uh, Centum VP. First let me uh, check the uh, you know estimated model and the actual model in Simulink, and let's see if the, the if there is any difference in the uh, their step response. Uh, this is the uh, Simulink uh, uh, model. This is the actual uh, process model, uh, third order uh, uh, process. Mm, process model there is a gain and three time constant values and there is a time delay here and we estimated uh, the whole uh, process model with approximate uh, second order uh, re second order model with repeated uh, mm, uh, uh, with a repeated time constant and I run uh, the simulation uh, you can see that the in the simulation the yellow curve is the um, the the actual uh, third order process model uh, a step response for actual uh, third order process model this line while the blue line is the uh, approximated and uh, estimated process model so uh, there are uh, there are, uh, Mm, step response is uh, perfectly matches and it's uh, um, it will ensure us that uh, the um, calculated PID and PI parameters uh, can be used uh, uh, in the uh, actual uh, this is platform in order to uh, control any complex temperature or high order uh, process models. I will finish this video here and uh, this is, this is uh, this video was only about the uh, Simulink model check and uh, model uh, models we concluded that uh, models uh, approximately match uh, each other. So the next step will be uh, using the um, PID uh, calculated optimum PID parameters in order to control this uh, complex process model. A new topic is about uh, Centum VP online course, how to register and how to handle uh, this course. Uh, this is my personal mm, website. I will uh, provide the address in the uh, description section in this uh, topic. You can uh, simply uh, type htlsane.com and uh, you will have the access to website. Um, there are many um, courses. Uh, then their number uh, will be expanded in the future. Some of them are free, some of them are uh, uh, should be purchased. And um, today we will talk about uh, Centum VP, um, Centum VP course, how to uh, register and how to purchase and enroll into uh, this course. Uh, the first step is to uh, register. You should uh, click on the login button and uh, select uh, for the first time you need to register. Uh, for registration you need to um, provide your actual name. Uh, this is very important because uh, some courses will provide um, certificate to pass uh, that uh, online course and uh, you need to provide your um, actual name here and your email should be also provided here. 
when you press uh, register a link will be provided and after uh, a link will be provided in your uh, email and uh, now you need to click that link in order to activate your account by providing a new password so uh, you enter your username and your password and you have the access to uh, the courses now and you can enroll uh, into uh, free courses and also you can purchase the uh, premium courses uh, I will focus on the center VP and uh, I want to see what's inside the course uh, if uh, I click on that course and select the detail I will see the whole uh, syllabus and there is a uh, final quiz and a certificate if uh, if I pass the exam uh, the next step in order to start the the course is to buy this course uh, I click on buy uh, this course I should provide my uh, billing address and uh, the next step should be uh, going to the payment page uh, in this website we only support uh, Bitcoin and uh, Bitcoin cash and uh, we uh, when you pr uh, press pay, uh, pay with Bitcoin you will be moved to the page to select with the uh, um, proper cryptocurrency that uh, that you it's possible for you to pay I uh, personally suggest uh, Bitcoin cash it's uh, uh, cheaper and the network fee is uh, lower very lower compared to uh, actually Bitcoin I select BCH and here I have the amount that I uh, should pay and this is the address uh, this uh, uh, test order uh, in actual um, actual you know purchase the values uh, should possibly is different so I need to copy uh, the amount of BCH and the address and I need to uh, do the transfer in my uh, cryptocurrency wallet so I, I need to pay this value and this is the address so uh, I go to my wallet uh, click send here I copy uh, the amount and I need to uh, copy the uh, mm, the address if you uh, you know simply click in this area the uh, the address is copied and I paste the address here and the final part will be sending the uh, BCH value and final is the purchase so I click send and the Bitcoin value is uh, sent uh, successfully and after a while you need to see that if the value is uh, sent and you have the confirmation if you have the confirmation uh, you can enroll in in the course uh, this is the uh, order details and when you click enroll you will have access to you know, all the links and uh, description of this uh, of this course uh, for uh, each uh, lesson here we have uh, the short description and the Google Drive uh, link in this uh, in each uh, folder related to each course we have uh, two uh, two files one of them is the uh, project file uh, the other one is the media that explains the, uh, the the topic in details and how to use the uh, this project file uh, when you enroll uh, the, the course uh, 
uh, you have access to uh, the Google Drive folders uh, related to each uh, lesson. Uh, in those folders, you have the um, installation file for Sentinel VP. Uh, you have the uh, project files for each lesson. And uh, eventually, you have the uh, video files. Uh, uh, those files provided more information, more explanation how to create project or how to use the uh, sample project. Uh, very uh, good and very uh, great amount of information is provided for you if you have access to uh, the files, Google Drive files. You, you will, um, you you can possibly install the uh, Center VP in, in a virtual machine by yourself, and you function test all the uh, projects available and uh, gain more about each topic. Uh, each folder uh, you have in each folder you have access to the project file and a video you need to download them the project file can be opened by the center VP and uh, the uh, videos for uh, videos you need to use a, a specific uh, a player now uh, the file is the file for uh, player is uh, available in the introduction you cannot open uh, because they, they are, these are uh, uh, encoded uh, uh, video files they cannot be opened by uh, ordinary player you need to download and install this uh, specific player possibly uh, if your system is uh, is not updated you need to uh, install some uh, .NET packages I have tested this player uh, in Win 7 and Win 10 and uh, the result, the result is satisfactory. Uh, it's not difficult to find the uh, required .NET package and uh, install that. Uh, this is the uh, shortcut file. If you double click on the, this uh, file, the player will be available. And uh, when you try to open, you need to provide your username and password and activate the player. Please uh, only use this player uh, for one PC. If you try to use it in several PCs, uh, you may encounter some uh, errors because yeah, by purchasing uh, the course, you have uh, per, uh, permission to only watch uh, the files in one PC. That's that's very important. That's very important. You don't have permission uh, to uh, to open the uh, video files in another computer. It uh, it's checked and monitored online, and you will receive an alarm for that. So you need to use the uh, you, you need to have access to internet in order to, uh, uh, you know, in order to check your username and password and the uh, situation of the hardware situation. You order to have the permission to play the, uh, to play the uh, video file. Uh, this is the actual um, player, the video player. You have access, uh, you have option in order to uh, open the file, you can use open file here. Now the rest of control is very similar to the uh, ordinary uh, video player and the other option is your login and uh, log out uh, button, it's available here. And um, the final part is uh, the quiz and mm, Certificate. When you finish the uh, the course, you uh, watch all the videos and you test uh, all the sample projects, and you are confident enough um, to uh, take the final quiz. Uh, the final quiz is available. The number of questions are. Uh, the number of questions is uh, for T, and you need to uh, mm, 
the passing grade is uh, 90% and the duration is 40 minutes. Uh, I, I possibly can say that that's somehow uh, you need to uh, follow all the um, topics carefully and uh, you need to take some notes in order to be able to pass and you have the possibility to uh, take the quiz uh, an ex uh, in a two uh, two times or three times it, if you fail the mm, if you fail the quiz uh, mm, you need to read more and to uh, uh, study more the topics and uh, uh, at each uh, time when you take the quiz uh, you, you have access to uh, to the correct answer and if you did something wrong uh, just write down the question and the correct answer and study more about this topic and also you can contact me if you have any uh, trouble regarding the mm, quiz and eventually when you pass the quiz you will have access to the uh, certificate and uh, the final part of this video is how to take the quiz and receive your um, certificate uh, thank you for watching if you have any question please share it in the comment section below thank you